In the not-too-distant future, robots may be touring the rugged, flooded interiors of contaminated mines that dot the West. This robot, being developed by a team at the Colorado School of Mines, is outfitted with scientific instruments, including LIDAR, which can map the inside of a mine down to the millimeter. That's actually where the robot is. But it's far from ready to go into a mine filled with polluted water. There are a lot of challenges. Like even for this prototyping phase, we already face, we already like find out a lot of challenges. Among the biggest challenges is being able to communicate with a robot deep inside a mine where radio signals can't penetrate. But no matter what, there is always a chance that the robot will be, will, will, will go out of the, the communication range. So in this scenario, I think like it is very important for the robots to have the like uh, the, the, uh, the autonomous capability. The Environmental Protection Agency is considering using robots and other sophisticated technology to better understand these mines to help prevent environmental disasters. The Colorado Mountains have dozens of inactive mines that are filled with polluted water. Some of these mines date to Colorado's gold rush in the 1860s. If it leaks out, the water can devastate the surrounding landscape. No, this is not good. That's what happened in 2015 when the EPA accidentally triggered the release of 3 million gallons of water trapped in the Gold King mine that tainted rivers in three states. Meanwhile, scientists at the U.S. Geological Survey are taking another approach. They're creating 3D maps to analyze electromagnetic energy to peer inside a mountain without cutting into it. Our geophysics is going to help to, to see into that mountain block and uh, each of these different features is going to have different geophysical signatures and that's what we're excited about is to be able to characterize these different uh, ge geological and, uh, and mining related uh, areas of interest. The robots could take several years to develop but once scientists are able to trace the currents and identify what's in the water they can look at technologies for cleansing the wastewater and cleaning up the mines. Peter Banda, Associated Press, Idaho Springs, Colorado.